I created a Google Sheet that automatically will grab the status of a USPS tracking number. And so the way this works is you just put the tracking number in here and it will create the URL to the tracking, the USPS tracking for you automatically, as you can see. And this status, pre-shipment info in this case, uh, as you can see, it shows up here, right? Pre-shipment info sent to USPS, USPS waiting item. I'll look at the second one as well and show you another situation. This one is delivered in our in at mailbox. And again, you see delivered in at mailbox. And then I'll show you the third example that I have delivered PO box. And basically, no matter what the status is, it pulls the status in here. So basically all you have to do is put USPS over here and the tracking number here. And then these two get uh, generated automatically. Now the reason why you have to put USPS is that um, it doesn't, right, I don't have the ability, uh, or at least right now, it hasn't been programmed with the ability to recognize a USPS tracking versus another tracking. And so I want to leave room in case I want to add another carrier so that uh, by you specifying the carrier I will know which formula to pull but um, I don't even know if this will work for other carriers yet because the method I'm using is import XML and um, for those of you who are more advanced in Excel you might know that import XML is a function that operates inside of Google Sheets and it can basically just grab data off of websites but the thing is um, it's limited alright so um, it may not be able to grab data off of other carriers. I've been successful with USPS and grabbing the status. So I'm sharing this with you right now. So if you want, if you're shipping USPS packages, you can go ahead and use this right now and you'll be able to grab the status instantly in the Google Sheet. This is a non API method. So there is no special API going on behind the scenes or anything like that. Um, so this completely just operates inside of Google Sheets. So all you literally have to do is open this Google Sheet, put in your tracking numbers, and when you put in your tracking numbers, the URL is generated and the status is going to be pulled automatically. All right, so that's basically how this works. But yes, you do have to, right now, you do have to put USPS in here. All right, so again, I could have programmed it where I just take the tracking number, but I made the function to also take the carrier name because again, if I get other carriers, if I can get them to work this way, um, it will be easier if the carrier name is already here. And then I know which method to use, which is gonna be different for each carrier. So, But anyway, don't worry about those details. The point is, um, it works for USPS right now, and I'd like you to try it out. Just get a copy of the Google Sheet. Let me know how it works because one thing I do know is that Import XML is built into Google Sheets, but they do have, um, I believe some limitations on the usage as far as the number of calls in a day. Now, I don't know that it's really limited or that perhaps it just gets slowed down when you do. So the more and more and more import XML calls you do, it seems the slower they get. So as far as like doing thousands of tracking numbers or something, I'm not sure that this would work very well for that. Um, I haven't tried that <laughs> large a number of tracking numbers, but um, as you can see, it's definitely working. And I did have more, I did put in more tracking numbers than this in here before. Uh, some tracking numbers that I, of shipments I already sent out uh, to customers that um, were already delivered. But I chose these three because I wanted to show you three different statuses. But um, they all, all of the tracking numbers I put in, it pulled the status successfully. So it seems to work pretty, it seems to work 100% as far as the actual function working. But again, the only thing might be the limitation. If you try to do a large number of tracking numbers, Google Sheets will slow down the, uh, it just, it'll slow down. Google Sheets will slow down. So um, I'm not sure what the result will be. So anyway, um, go ahead and try this. Get a copy of this Google Sheet. Um, there should be a link in the description of this video for you to go ahead and grab a copy of the sheet. Try it out and uh, let me know. I really need the feedback because I just, that's how I'm gonna know. Um, how it works, especially if you are a person who has a lot of tracking numbers. Let me know if it works for a large number of tracking numbers. All right, try it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them below. Check the, the description of the video for my contact info. I'm Mr. Mark, Success Sellers, and hope to see you around um, on the channel or in another video.